Well, hi there, Rio Verde. Dave Ohm, general manager here. I'm actually with Chef Todd, and we're going to take a little trip today through the kitchen. We're going to send you into the life of the team in the back of the house and let you see what they go through day in and day out to provide a great member experience and really to reemphasize and reiterate why it's so important that we get this renovation. Yes. Ready, Chef? Ready. Let's, Let's take go. a walk. So here we are in the start of our tour back in our current kitchen. You know, back in the 90s, the style we're going to show you right now, a hotline separated from a pantry, was a great thing until they found out that labor is expensive. And when you start to create efficiencies in the kitchen, it's found that having it separated just doesn't make sense. Right now, we actually have to have, if we've got one cook on the line and he's got to make two burgers and two salads, he's actually got to leave his station and venture over to the pantry currently to be able to make both of those. Very inefficient for the team itself and actually takes a chance on some food waste because if you got burgers going, you're trying to make a salad, you can easily burn some food and waste it from that point. All right, so earlier we just mentioned about the hot and cold line and pantry line being separated in the uh, kitchen. As you can see, you got Clayton and you got Chef Todd back here trying to make two salads, only two salads for members. As you can see, not only have they separated the line, but they uh, crammed it back in a corner of the kitchen where it's virtually impossible for two guys to work and get two salads made up just for a member experience. So here we are on the front line. We're actually gonna start out and walk you through how they're gonna prep for the morning. Uh, it's quite inefficient as we're gonna have to go all the way through the loading dock to a back cooler to get all the vegetables and the, the fixings to start up the line every morning. So come along with me. We actually have to come all the way through the kitchen through our prep areas. through our back dock here. And as we're coming through, we're actually coming into the banquet storage facility right now. Facility. So we're coming on back. So this is actually where our cooler is. As I wedge my way back through these ginormous chairs that we have for banquets, here's our actual cooler. So this is every morning our cooks have to come back get all of their produce and vegetables from this cooler. Um, and on top of that, from the cooler standpoint, this is where we store all our kegs too. So if you can imagine, our only bar that we have right now is actually in the pub. So all of our staff have to come clear back here to get their cake. So here we are, we're taking a shot of the ceiling tiles and panels in the kitchen itself. Again, this is 27 year old kitchen. This isn't a personal kitchen, this is actually a commercial kitchen. And as you can see, the decay over the years, the patching, the painting, and again, these ceilings aren't cheap. You've got a, a floating ceiling that's got all the conduit for the HVAC coming through, that, it, that we have leaks on top of the roof actually coming through to it. So again, on top of that, once you start to replace all of the, the ceiling tiles and the HVAC vents, now you have to get into the fire suppression systems and the fire relief systems. Those all have to be upgraded as well. So again, just part of the reason why this renovation so important for this club. All right, so here's where we're addressing some of our equipment at this point. As you can see, we've actually got a two-toned wall here. What's wrong with this picture? These are coolers. These are actually coolers that should be silver. Over the years, they painted them to cover up rust and other issues with the coolers themselves. At this point, we can't scrub these down properly with scrubby pads, Brillo pads as they should because the paint will start to peel off. So actually at this point, we can only wipe them down with terry cloth towels. So again, you know, replacing the coolers, getting the proper surfaces is again, it's another uh, sanitary and safety issue back here in the kitchen. All right, so here we are standing in the cooler. Uh, again, same scenario we had before, uh, painted walls on the inside of the cooler. Um, as you can see the chipping here and we'll get the team to repaint that right now. But again, when we try to scrub this down, again, these are just safety issues that the team deals with day in and day out. And again, being inside a cooler just isn't sanitary or proper um, for a kitchen. So here we're taking a shot. Uh, Chef Todd's up front on the main line. He's actually cooking some burgers here. And he's only got about six burgers on the grill right now. And as you can see, we're actually back in the back prep area. This is for the banquet area and the dish pit. And all of a sudden, if you look up here at the, what the camera's showing you, we've got all this billowing smoke filling up the kitchen itself. 
again this is from poor ventilation from the hood systems that just can't keep up uh, because they are so old so again this is a, another safety issue that we deal with um, you know back here in the kitchen when chef and everybody's uh, grilling up things imagine when we have burger night going and we're cooking 200 burgers we kind of become a smokehouse no pun intended back here in the kitchen and so here we are again chef Todd back here in the kitchen cooking up uh, some burgers and some steaks and again as you notice all that smoke escaping out from the actual vent hood and the, uh, the overhead that is supposed to be capturing all of that and uh, sending it out through the top and again this is just a, another sign of reasons why we need an updated kitchen and, and clubhouse renovation. And here we are again, I just want to give you one more view looking back into the banquet prep area and also the uh, dish pit of all the smoke uh, that just does not get captured by our hood vent system. So again, just, just really necessary to get these updated uh, through this renovation. Again, another safety issue we have back here in the kitchen. Obviously, we've got a lot of equipment that has to drain water out uh, throughout the day during the operations. One thing we notice is as we start to do so, we get standing water. Again, creating a safety issue for the team. This comes from collapsed lines, which are actually underneath the concrete and basically virtually impossible to get to without busting out all the concrete to get those repaired. So again, another safety issue that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis back here in the kitchen.